Hey folks, Alpha Policy, Alpha Policy Trains here at uh, Franklin and South Manchester. This is going to be a video of all my favorite structures on George's layout. There are many, but I'm going to concentrate on not the kits in this video, but the actual creations George did. My favorite structures. Take a seat and let's go. The spectacular passenger station stone. It's always been one of my favorite buildings on the layout. Let's do an aerial view. Just beautiful. Here's another stone structure that is absolutely gorgeous. Like an offset passenger drop in the upper story. A really interesting structure with an aerial view. This is a little bait shop on the layout that is tucked away that I've always absolutely loved. Just a really interesting, beautiful structure. Small, but very interesting. Just a little bait shop. Not a kit. One of George's creations. With the stone on the bottom. One of many diners made out of old passenger cars on the layout. One of many converted passenger cars into diners. The Calvary Paint Building's been on YouTube many times, but here I am seeing it in person is just absolutely spectacular. One of my favorite oldies. Here's the back side of that AC Lawrence Leather Company that I talked about earlier. I've never seen this. This is just a really interesting structure. Or get the front as I swing around to the other side of the layout. This is a downtown deco building. George built the way he weathered it and painted it, it's absolutely beautiful. Next to it is a custom fish market. There's a small little building that I think is cool. It's got a really nice chimney and brick. Little annex building. A really cool chimney. Smokestack. I like this tall building here in the center. Joshua Cohn. Yarn. Really cool. Look at that. Beautiful color. This skyscraper, it's kind of like a skyscraper. It's really cool. Opposite side. Just a really, really neat building. A tall one. I had to get these roof details. Here's a building. But what wakes it up is this incredible stuff going on on the roof. And there's another structure on the roof. It's really interesting that this is the roof of a big building with a lot going on. Beautiful coal bunker here. Here's another coal bunker that I've always liked. Again, these are not kits. These are just George's creations. Interesting roof structure. Really cool building. A corner building here, meat company, fits nicely in the corner. Really cool. 
I've never noticed this. What a cool building this is. So neat. Just beautiful. A lot of neat little buildings. <laughs> One of Howard Zane's gory and defeated cars, George, weathered up. Okay, that is Doverton Wharf. <laughs> I believe that is Doverton Wharf, tucked away in the back. And what a scene. over to Morph. Here's the other side of the uh, leather building that I was talking about earlier, the AC Lawrence Leather Dye Company. What a neat building that is. There's another one of the diner cars made into a little passenger car or whatever made into a diner, the honeybee. White Rose Bacon. An aerial view of the leather company. It's an interesting little annex building with a side covered entrance. There's a hidden gem stuffed down in the bottom. Here's an aerial view of the uh, the bakery company, the baking company, and a view of the back. The coal tower. Beautiful building. Again, this was a kit, but George added on the shed on the end. This icing facility is just gorgeous. This stone building I tried to replicate on my layout, but nothing's as good as the original.
Take a different angle of this building. Kind of a triangular build. This is one of my very favorite structures George ever done, the Charles Cooper Company. I've always been in love with this building. Smokestack, it says Cooper's. It's just always, always been in love with this building. The one in the center. And then next to it is another building that I've always been in love with. This big treatment facility of some kind. I don't know if it's a water plant or power plant or what it is, but it is incredibly spectacular. What a beautiful take on this gorgeous wood and stone water tank. That giant cigar building, that yellow building has always been a favorite as well. The Eco Epco Giants, Griffith's Bar and Grill building. I've always loved this. Oh, wow. The rolling stock on this layout is absolutely beautiful. But also, like, bushes, like, when you get the Franklin Gazette is another one of my favorites. So is this stone building at the end. Ebenezer Griswold and Sons. Absolutely love this complex. Beautiful little fishing building. I've always been in love with Hook Line and Sinker Seafood Company. Overhead bridge is spectacular.
bus terminal. I believe it was based on a John Allen structure. This incredible roundhouse, I believe, was a South River Model Works building with add on stalls and some modifications. Just spectacular. Interesting structure here. This white building built on scaffold, like a garage kind of. I've never noticed this little Casey's Battery Company building tucked down in the bottom. Really cool with a sloped roof. There's a side view. It's just cool the way it's sloped. some beautiful buildings and the one in the center is really cool it's kind of hidden but what a neat building in the center to join these two big buildings together again these are downtown deco George did just an amazing job on man Interesting. Cut down in size a little bit, or a modified Duffy's Coal. I'm going to shot of that building there on the side. The way George curves the buildings to fit specific spots is absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh yeah. There's some more buildings I just never paid attention to, folks. This just tucked away. Just beautiful. This layout were half the size. Everyone would still be crazy impressed. Yeah, I mean, you come down here and a week later, and you notice stuff you'd never seen. Thanks for watching the structures and make sure you check out all of my George Celio's footage of our trip to the open house at the Franklin in South Manchester. Thanks for watching and if you like what you see please hit the subscription button.